Okay. Bungee gum. Hey guys, welcome to Belle Has Life. And today I'm going to be cosplaying Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter. Starting with some toner and some moisturizer. I'm just going to prep my face for the foundation. Now I'm using this Air Cotton Makeup Base. It has a green undertone so that it corrects any of the redness on my face. And I'm just going to pat it all over my face. Next, I'm going to use this foundation by Essence. I'm going to squeeze some onto the Beauty Blender. And now I will just dot it all over my face and blend it out. I'm trying to make my face look as even as possible. And now I'm going to use this concealer by KVD, putting some under my eyes and lightening my eyebrows with it and some other troubled areas. And now I'm going to use the Beauty Blender and blend it all out again. And this is how it looks. Now I'm going to put another layer of concealer under my eyes and try to hide my eye bags as much as possible. Next, I'm using this setting spray by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm trying to reduce any of the creasing that happens under my eyes. Putting a little bit of concealer onto my beauty blender and just dotting some troubled areas. Next, I'm going to use this green concealer from She Glad and I'm going to put it under my eye circles to try and lighten it. It's not the best colour because green actually reduces the redness but I don't have any orange colour so I'm going to use it. Now I'm using this Essence Fixing Loose Powder and I'm going to put it under my eyes to try and stop any creasing again. Now I'm using this double eyelid tape and I'm just prepping my eyes, wiping away any of the oils before putting it. Give it a good press and now I have double eyelids. Now I'm going to put it on my other eye. Now I'm taking the Beauty Blender and some loose powder and patting it all over my face. This will help to stop the foundation from moving or smudging. And now the base makeup is complete! Let's move on to the eyeshadow. I'm going to use this eyeshadow by Catrice and I'm putting a light coloured eyeshadow in the inner corners of my eye. Now I'm taking a slightly darker tone and putting it at the outer corner of my eyes. Taking an even darker tone and putting it at the outer corner again and this will help to give it some dimension. Now I'm going to use this eyeliner by Heroin to make. It has a very fine tip which helps me to draw my eyeliner a little bit easier. I'm leaving a small gap at the under of my eyes to make my eye look a little bit bigger and also more slanted. And drawing a little bit at the inner corner of my eye for a sharp edge. Now I'm using this very colourful eyeshadow palette to draw on my pink coloured brows. using a spoolie and smoothening it out. I'm taking this eyeshadow palette again and I'm going to draw a little bit of eye bags. This will help my eyes look a little bit bigger. Using a lighter eyeshadow, I'm going to highlight the bottom of my eyes and the inner corner of my eyes. Next, I'm going to use this dark shade and I'm going to draw on Hisoka's very prominent double eyelid. I'm also going to put some at the inner corners of my eye to make me look a bit more masculine. I'm highlighting a little bit more of my inner corner of my eye and the eye makeup is done. Now I'm using this highlighter by Too Faced and I'm going to highlight my cheekbone, the tip of my nose, and my cupid's bow. Shiny! Now I'm taking the eyeshadow again and using it as a contour for my nose. Now I'll use a stencil to draw on Hisoka's facial tattoos. 
This is made using art cut, and now I'm just patting on some eyeshadow. Now I'll use this contour by Candy Doll to make the sides of my face look slimmer. And now for contact lens. I'm wearing an orangish yellow kind of contact lens to match Hisoka's eyes. Now I'm using this mascara by Heroin Make and I'm just darkening my eyelashes a bit. This is Vaseline and I'm going to put it on my lips to prevent any cracking or drying before I put on this lipstick by Dior. These are nose inserts and I'm going to use eyelash glue to secure them. I'll push it into my nose as much as possible and this should make my nose look a lot sharper. Using a tweezer to adjust it a bit and as you can see my nose looks a lot slimmer and sharper than it was before. This is a chest binder and I'm going to bind my chest because well I am a woman. I'm going to wear a corset to make my waist look as slim as possible. And now I have the costume on and we're ready to put on the wig. First I'll wear a wig cap. And I will put another wig cap on it to secure it. Next I'm using some clips just to make sure that it doesn't move. And it's time for the reveal! So this is how my Hisoka cosplay has turned out. Bungee gum. Bungee gum. Bungee gum. Bungee gum. Bungee gum. Thank you for watching and bye! Subscribe please!